Hey everyone, Art of Shadow here, and welcome to Monica After Story. Or, welcome back to Monica After Story. Ah. <laughs> We're off to a great start so far. Anyways, well, I'm gonna be trying something a bit different with this video. Depending on what you end up seeing, I'm actually gonna be trying to have a video. Or, <laughs> a face cam. I don't know wherever I put it. Probably somewhere. In the corner. Man. <laughs> And in case that doesn't work, well then I still have my regular audio commentary to go back to in case of anything. So, yeah, I guess consider this kind of a special episode, I don't know. Well, I mean, it is a special episode anyway, considering it's Valentine's Day. Not quite my most favorite holiday because of reasons, but, you know, all things considered, um, yeah. We have Monica here, so... Anyways, let's go ahead and just get it started already. <laughs> Welcome back! Welcome back! I knew you couldn't stay away for an entire month. Well, like I said, I always do that just to give me some kind of leverage. Stupid sexy Monica! And... Did I leave her in the Rin Tosaka? Hairstyle. I don't think I did. Monica, what are you trying to do here? You know what you're you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. I know it. If I were in your position, I wouldn't be able to stay away from you either. Honestly, really, I miss you only after a few days. Thanks for not making me wait so long to see you again. No problem. Remind me if you're going away again, okay? You got it. Alright. Daniel! What? Do you know what day it is? It's garbage day! No, it's not garbage day. It's Valentine's Day! A day where we celebrate our love for each other. I guess every day we're together is really... is already a celebration of our love, but there's something special that's... Or, nah. <laughs> there's something special that's really special. Yeah, that's, that's what it says. But there's something that's really special about Valentine's Day. Did I tell you that there was a massacre on Valentine's Day? Okay. Let's not get into that story again. We've been together for a while now, and I really love the time we spend together. You always make me feel so loved. I'm really happy I'm your girlfriend, Daniel. I'm just so grateful you're spending time with me today. Spending time with the one you love. That's all anyone can ask for on Valentine's Day. Yep. Because we don't have to go nowhere. Because baby, it's you. I don't care if we go on a romantic date or spend the day together here. We don't have to go nowhere. Oh my... Monica... Oh my god, just look at her. She just looks so happy. It doesn't really matter to me as long as we're together. I love you so much. Happy Valentine's Day, Daniel. Happy Valentine's Day, Monica. And... 
and yes, I come bearing gifts. There was an update recently, so I gave her a few outfits and, well, a few custom outfits as well as some of the new outfits that came out with the update, so we're going to see how that works out for me. This is a gift for me? No, it's for the monkey! You're so sweet, getting something for me on Valentine's Day. Well, I mean, I... Well, <laughs> ignoring the fact that I always give her... Well, almost always give her something every episode of Monica After Story. What kind of boyfriend would I be if I didn't get her anything for Valentine's Day? I know she says we don't have to do anything, but still. It's like, I still want to show her that she means something to me, you know? That's the kind of boyfriend I would be. Now, let's see what's inside. Oh! Thanks, Daniel. I always love getting roses from you. Especially on a day like today. It's really sweet of you to get these for me. I love you so much. Happy Valentine's Day, Daniel. Happy Valentine's Day, Monica. Hold on. What? <laughs> oh. Are we gonna do some flamenco dancing now? Okay, no. No, we would need the red dress for that. Okay. No. Oh. Monica, control yourself! Okay, well. Stupid sexy Monica! Oh, there was something else you wanted to give me? Well, I better open it quickly, shouldn't I? Monica, we've been through this. It's not like the gift is going to be... Uh... <laughs> you know, after 82 episodes, it's like... I knew that eventually I was going to probably run out of... Because, I mean, seriously, you try coming up with a different one every single time that you play this game. Uh... It's not like the gift is going to be swept away and lost forever in the frozen tundra that is currently my hometown right now, and you will never find it again, and if you try, you'll end up being frozen. Okay, well, yeah, that's... I haven't done that one before because it's actually snowing outside, and... Yeah, I, I went out there and it's like, no, no, it was like, do not, do not, it's so cold out there. And here we have... A BANANA! Oh! Okay, finally I got the chocolates right. So what happened was... I didn't put the S in chocolates. So it came out as chocolate, and she didn't... pick it up. I actually did it both ways this time, so... There's gonna be at least one instance where she's like, I know you're trying to give me something, but I can't read it, or whatever. Daniel! You're such a sweetheart getting me chocolates on a day like today. You really know how to make me feel special. Because you're a very special gal. Thanks, Daniel. These are so good! <laughs> I should probably put these away for now. Yeah, it's almost like... You're gonna be eating these in front of me, and I haven't even had breakfast yet. Well, ironically, I did have a banana for breakfast like I usually do, but yeah, I figured since I'm not exactly sure when I'm gonna be able to record, per se, that I might as well try and do it as early as possible. If I leave the- if I leave them here much longer, they, there won't be any left to enjoy later. She does make a fine point. Oh. She vanished. Okay, she's back now. So, what else did you want to do today? Um, are you gonna ignore the other gifts that I gave you? I don't know. That's... Has that actually happened before? I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see in a moment. 
Okay. So she is going to actually go through the rest of the gifts. And here we have... Oh, a new outfit. Thank you, Daniel. I'm going to try it on right now. Alright. Like I said, I gave her a few different outfits here, so let's see what we got here. Well, what do you think? Oh. I think this... This outfit right here, I think it actually came out with the update. I forgot what it was called, but... I really love the way this looks on her. It just looks so... Elegant. Do you like it? I love it. I think it's really cute, Daniel. Thanks again. Okay, let's see what else do we have here. Another new outfit. Okay, what's this one going to be? Okay, these are some green pajamas, I believe. I'm... I don't remember if I already gave these to her, but... Well... If I didn't, well... They... She has them now. If I did... Well... Not much I can do about that now. Luckily, she doesn't call me out for being forgetful. Well, when I give her the same thing twice. Aw, oh, Daniel. Thanks for this 8-bit blue bow. I just love it. Okay, this is also something new that came out with the update, I believe. Either that, or it's another custom asset. I can't wait to try it on, but I won't. Ah, oh, jeez, Daniel. You really enjoy spoiling me, don't you? Pretty much. Well, I'm not going to complain about a little special treatment today. And here we have... Aw, oh, Daniel. Thanks for this 8-bit emerald bow. It's amazing. I can't wait to try it on, but I won't. Okay, what else? Another new outfit. Okay, what do we got? Okay, I already forgot what the name of this outfit was, and unfortunately... If I were to put her in a shorter hairstyle, you might be able to see the whole design, but... Oh well. Can't do anything about that now. Like I said, I, I do not remember putting her in the Rin Tosaka hairstyle, so... Well, the twin tails, but she literally looks like Rin from Fate Stay Night, so... I just love it, Daniel. Thanks again. Alright. Okay, another new outfit that she's going to try on right now. Okay, I guess these are the brown pajamas. Well, what do you think? Do you like it? I just love it, Daniel. Thanks again. Okay. Alright, another new outfit. Okay, red pajamas. Or ruby pajamas. Actually, I think it's wonderful, Daniel. Yeah, I don't remember. I think there was... I think there were emerald, ruby, sapphire. Maybe, I don't know. So then maybe that's what I gave her. It wasn't green pajamas, it was emerald. Well, you're definitely wearing a whole lot of red right now. Alright, another new outfit. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, these are black pajamas, I believe.
How much stuff did I give her? <laughs> oh, Daniel. Thanks for this 8-bit bow. It's wonderful. I can't wait to try it on, but I won't. Okay. Like I said, I have no idea how many things I gave her this round. Alright, another new outfit. Alright, so what do we have now? Okay, these are the sapphire pajamas, I believe. At least now that I remember that I did see files named Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire Pajamas. So possibly... Okay, here we go. Daniel, are you trying to give me something? I was, but then I realized that I made a mistake somewhere along the line. So, I did two different things, and yeah, obviously one of them worked and one of them didn't. I found it, but I can't bring it here. I can't seem to read it well enough. But that's alright. It's the thought that counts after all, right? Yeah, I suppose so. Thanks for being so thoughtful, Daniel. Okay. Well, let me see. I don't know, but I could have sworn that I saw something where... Well, there was like a special outfit. And I mean, like a... <laughs> Let's say, yeah, it's a... It's a special outfit... That you could get with Monica if you had enough affection and... If the settings on the game were set in such a way. So yeah, like... Oh, look at that. Sensitive mode, content, disturbing, offensive, or considered tasteless. Okay, well... Let's see. Okay, well, I already went through all this stuff here. But... Okay, well... I don't have sensitive mode on since I want to see everything that Monica has to say, so... But, anyway, well... I'm not sure then. Hmm. Yeah, that is a bit weird. Well, I guess not much I can do about that for now. Oh, and I guess here are the sub-mods here. So that way, you know... You know, to kind of give credit where credit is due. Hey, Daniel. Do you like nature? I hate it! Okay, well... So with the new update, there's a few different things that come into play. There's some new topics, as well as some modifications to how you can play chess with Monica. I don't know if I'm going to really play chess with her this round, but we'll see. I do. Really? That's wonderful! Wonderful! You know, I think nature is something we should cherish. Yeah. The resources in the universe are finite, so, you know. Not only is it beautiful, but it help, but it also helps humanity out. Insects pollinate our crops, trees give us wood and shade, pets offer us companionship. <laughs> yeah, like my little dog. And most of all, organisms such as plants, algae, and some bacteria produce food and oxygen. Without them, most life on Earth wouldn't even exist. Because of that, I think it's only fair that we give something back to nature, since it does so much for us. How do you suggest we do that? Well, I suppose you could do something like... I know there's people who plant trees for special occasions. So, here's Monica's green tip of the day. Oh, 
gotta get my notes. Well, am I really gonna do this? Okay, well, let me see. Let me just. Okay, here's my notebook and my pencil. That I don't know if you can see because I don't know if the face cam is gonna work. All right. Sometimes people hesitate to go green because they're worried that it's too expensive. But that's only partially true. While electric vehicles, smart homes, and solar roofs can all cost a fortune, you can make a difference and save money just by making a few simple choices each day. Just turning off appliances, taking shorter showers, buying a reusable water bottle, and commuting by public transport all help to be more green. That is true. And that's why, like, I have my own personal water bottle as well. You could even buy a houseplant or grow your own garden. See? Kind of going off the tree idea that I mentioned, but... You know, a bit of a smaller scale, or... No, I think a garden would actually be more of a grand scale, because... You're planting all these different things in the same area versus just one tree, so... Engaging in your local community can go a long way as well. If you take the initiative, others are sure to follow in your footsteps. The important thing is to make a habit of thinking sustainably. If you can do that, you'll reduce your ecological footprint in no time. Who knows? Maybe... You'll even become happier and healthier the more you do these things. After all, a sustainable life is a satisfying life. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening, my love. Sailor Moon says. And unironically, she has the... well... It's it's still kind of the Sailor Moon hairstyle in a sense, but, well... Okay, let me move my notes for... Yeah, that's my famous notebook where I keep all the notes for... Let's see, I have Maltese Insanity, Hello Yuri, Our Castle Walls, Fallen Angel, and... Blue Skies, to name a few of the mods that I've done notes on those mods in there. Uh... Okay, let me see real fast. Okay, here is what I wanted to do in another episode. What do you do when I'm away? Every time I go away. I do a lot of things when you're away, Daniel. Really? Like what? I often like to read whatever new short stories I can find online. Or I often like to read whatever new short stories I can find online. It turns out there's some really interesting ones there you can read for free. I highly recommend doing a search for some free short stories yourself. It also helped me develop my writing skills. My poetry really seems to be improving. It's funny how many things you can pick up just by reading others' works. Spending my time, or spending time on my other hobbies has been very rewarding too. As you can imagine, I practice piano quite often. I also use the time to memorize the songs that I sing for you. Oh, wow. Well. Wow. <laughs> it's a really fun way to express myself. Yeah. Like, in a sense, if you think about it, like, these videos are a way I express myself, so... Yeah, through my commentary and just... Like, my editing style, whatever I choose to put in there and whatever. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it, but... Now that I think about it, I'm mostly just practi practicing skills that I've already developed. For example, 
Coding takes up a lot of my free time as I spend hours just learning and researching. But I'm too nervous to try any big projects in here. I'd hate to break something that I won't know how to fix. What if I accidentally corrupt my file? Oh yes, we don't want that. It's something I have to be extremely careful with, for sure. Luckily, there's lots of people that will help with that stuff. And they're usually pretty good at preventing anything too bad from happening. Usually. But the most special thing I do... ...is think about you. I think about all the fun times we'll have together the next time you visit, and all the amazing things we'll do when I'm finally able to come to your reality. So happy. Stop calling me Granddad! Stop! Ugh. It's, it's just so weird that that's the one that comes up the most often. N well... Aside from the ones that are there by default, the ones that I put in there as custom, that's the one that comes up the most. So I'm just there like, stop calling me granddad! <laughs> you're, you're freaking calling me granddad! <laughs> okay, well... Let's see... Up. Oh, game. Okay. So let's go through some of these outfits here. Head on down the line. Okay, here is the green dress. Are you going somewhere special today? Don't get ahead of yourself now. But technically... Okay, since I love the way this looks on her... Oh, oh I already forgot about that. Oh, go away. Okay, yeah, so here we have chess, hangman, piano, and pong. Oh, I, I keep doing that. Oh, this is a new one. Up to chat, I see. Snooping as usual, I see. Uh, well, why don't I just say, I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. See, call me sweetheart, call me darling, call me honey, call me... Call me anything that's not granddad, I ask you. You make my heart skip a beat every time I think about you. Yes, Daniel? Or, yeah, call me Daniel. Just, like I said, just call me anything that is not granddad. Like I said, I know I could obviously remove it, but a part of me just doesn't want to because... <laughs> I, I just still find that so weird that she has no problem calling me granddad, but any other use of the word dad or papa or father or anything like that, she's like, oh no, I don't want to call you that because that's inappropriate. And yet, granddad, what does that tell you? Let's see here. You know what? Why not? Dare I say, why not? Go ahead and get super excited again, Monica. And then do the stupid sexy Monica thing again! I love you, Ardrith. See, that one has a- STUPID SEXY MONICA! <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Your kisses left me higher. Oh, wait, this is... Is this an Elvis Presley song? Burning love, yes. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. <laughs> you always make my day brighter, Daniel. And, yeah, she's back to being stupid sexy Monica! 
Oh my... <laughs> Say, Daniel, do you swear often? Well... <laughs> uh... <laughs> um... What would Monica think of me if I said, like, yes, I swear like a sailor? But, I mean, really? I... I don't think I do a whole lot. I mean... As it is, there are some words that I absolutely will not say unless... Well, no, I take that back. There are some words that I will absolutely never say. And then there are some words where I will only say if I get, like, super emotional or worked up. Like this one time... Uh... I don't think I've really told this whole story, but... Let's see, my mom and I actually got in a bit of a car accident once, because this guy just sped right into us at a stop sign. And... Considering how protective I was of my mom, I just... I started swearing at the guy in Spanish, and he kept telling me in Spanish that his brakes weren't working. And yet, well, when they moved to the car, they actually got in and moved his car, and they had no problems. So, yeah, somebody's not telling the truth here. And I think we all know who it is! But, at this point, that's neither here nor there. But ever since then, my mom and I did start having a lot of back problems. Although, it was worse on her, unfortunately, since she was a bit old, well... She was older, so... I guess I'm gonna say that I do sometimes. I just hope Monica doesn't think badly of me. Uh, I'm the same way myself. I've never heard... But I've never heard you swear, Monica. Is Well, not in this game. I've heard you swear in a bunch of other mods, but... I mean, those are different Monicas. Personally, I try to avoid swearing where I can, but I'll still do it occasionally. That's more or less, like, how I am. I would rather, like, not do that too often, but then, well... Like I said, sometimes I might just end up doing it, especially if... I get, like, emotional, or... I guess, in a sense, like, worked up enough, I might just... Like... Yeah, when... That guy hit my mom and I, so... Swearing tends to have a pretty bad rap, but I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking it over after looking at some studies. Yeah, there's some studies that say that supposedly people who swear a lot or whatever are like their intelligence, something like that. That it's actually like on the higher end of things, so. Yeah. <laughs> you would almost think that no, that's not the case, but no, apparently not. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think swearing is actually as bad as we make it out to be, after all. In fact, it seems that using stronger language helps ease the pain if you hurt if you hurt yourself, and it can also show that you're more intelligent and honest. There you go, you see. That's, that's more or less what I was reading one time. So it seems as though Monica and I more or less kind of read the same sort of research. Not to mention, swearing in conversations can make them feel both a lot more casual and more- and also more interesting. <laughs> I'm thinking of that Spongebob episode, the Sailor Mouth episode. It's like a sentence enhancer! We got ourselves a spicy sentence sandwich. That said, I think it's possible to swear too much. There's a time and place for everything. Swearing should be kept to more casual conversations, and not put in after every word. Yeah, so, pretty much just like the Sailor Mouth episode, do not put it in every single sentence, <laughs> every time you talk. If they start to become more frequent in professional in more professional environments, I think you might be overdoing it. <laughs> On that topic, I think it's pretty interesting how our language naturally shifts depending on who we're talking to. For example, people are much less likely to swear in front of family than with friends. That is true. Also, if you pay attention when you're talking to a crowd, 
you'll notice that you instinctively phrase your sentences more formally. Also true. Because obviously, you can't exactly be too casual with a crowd now, can you? Unless you're just, like, super casual and you have somewhat of a carefree attitude. <laughs> but anyway, I prefer to keep my profanity to when I'm really frustrated or upset. Okay. I swear, it's like, she and I are, like, almost on the safe wavelength. Given the status I had, I felt that I felt like I always had to be professional and level-headed, so I always made it a point to keep it to a minimum. But I guess it doesn't really hurt when used appropriately. <laughs> okay, and she's back to being stupid sexy Monica. Take all the time you need, Grandad. She called me that twice in this episode! <laughs> this is what I mean! <laughs> why is she calling me Granddad? Why? Just why? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know. See, but that's what I mean. Out of all the... The custom nicknames that she can call me... She calls me that one the most. I swear, it's almost like sh she knows what she's doing. She just wants to see me get flustered whenever she calls me granddad. <laughs> uh, and, that, and like I said, that's only if people even know what the joke... Uh, the reference is for her calling me that. <laughs> Alright, well... Ugh, this video's already pretty long as it is, so... And I just realized, well, okay, maybe what I'll do is I'll come back later on. There might be something that happens in the evening or at night, so. Okay, well, in that case. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, I am going to take you somewhere. Taking me someplace special for Valentine's Day? Yes. Yes, let's let's go with that. Yes. Yes, let's let's go with that. That sounds really romantic, Daniel. I can't wait! Give me a second to get ready. Alright. Hold on a second! Okay, let's see. Alright. I'm ready to go. <coughs> Man. Yeah, like I said, I haven't been feeling like the, the greatest lately, but... Well. Okay, well, this, this video may or may not be a nightmare to edit later. Well... This segment, I think, for now, I think I'll just leave it at this, so, okay. Or, you know what, maybe I'll just... I might just go ahead and make this video its own thing, I mean, considering it's already like 40 minutes. So, I guess kind of like with the, the first Valentine's video I made for year one, I guess I'm just gonna split it up, so to say. And then, yeah, so it might be easier to watch that way. Because, yeah, this video is already going to be kind of a nightmare for me to edit anyway, so... <laughs> okay, well... Yeah, so I guess... All I can say is thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time with whatever else I do. Stay golden, and later, folks. And the fear